How are you doing everyone? So today I'm going to do a quick video on mini roundabouts, alright? Um, mini roundabouts, for whatever reason, they are just so confusing when people are learning how to drive. They kind of contradict everything that I say about turning left and right in previous lessons when we're talking about turning left and right. But because it's a mini roundabout, the rules are just slightly different because you have to worry about people with right of way and observation to the right. Alright, so when we're tackling mini roundabouts, it's the same thing whether it's left, right, T junction, mini roundabout, big roundabout, it's always mirror, signal, position, slow, look. The only difference for a mini roundabout and a big roundabout is the L for look. So on approach, you do your mirror, signal, position, slow, look ahead to the right, ahead to the right, and if it's clear, off you go. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate first exit to the left and then force the exit to the left when it looks like a T-junction, all right? So during your lessons are on the test, the test I will say, mini roundabout, you're gonna take the first exit to the left. So you, when they say left, you know it's gonna be that one there, all right? So straight away you do your mirrors, signal. Your position should be on the left, because those park cars, you can't do anything about that. We slow, we're in the second, we're off the clutch, we look ahead to the right, ahead to the right. I know there's nothing coming, and then it's just like a left turn, you just check your mirror and just look where you're going. Once you're across the, that yield line at the roundabout, forget looking to the right, you've already checked, you, you check on approach, once you know there's nothing coming, it's just looking where you're going, it's, it's always the same, you just have to look where you're going. So I'm going to do this T-junction here, right, this is the same as the mini roundabout, so mirror, signal, before the curve bends, look here for observation, once it bends, get in, I'm on the brake here, and the observation out to the right. Now we're going to do the same thing for this mini roundabout now in a second. So now, mini roundabout, it's the first exit to the left. But this is in the shape of a T-junction, alright? So this is exactly how I do a T-junction. Mirror, signal, straight up to the turn. Before that curve bends, observation out to the right for observation the roundabout. Position in and then observation out to the right. I'll give it one extra look for the roundabout, and off we go. There's no need to stop there, but just for the recording. I just wanted to demonstrate the look. So now we're going to go straight through the mini roundabout, and it's the second exit. This is where everybody gets so confused, all right? So just think, we do MSPSL, but there's no signal because we're going straight through it. There's no signal on approach. So we check our mirrors, we're in position, we're on the brake, we're in the second, we're off the clutch, we look ahead to the right. I know there's nothing coming, look where you're going. Drive around the footpath, and the last thing I do, mirror, signal left. Same for this one. This one I can fix me position, so mirrors, no signal, I'm in position, I'm in the second, I'm off the clutch, boom, boom. Look where you're going, steer around the footpath, and then left mirror, left signal. And same for this one. Position in on the left. We're aiming for that arrow. We're slowing. We're looking. I know there's nothing coming. I'm looking where I'm going. And then left mirror, left signal. Alright. Easy. Steering. Get around the roundabout first. And then when you get around the left mirror, left signal. So now we're going to do a mini roundabout. It's in the shape of a T-junction. And we're going to take the second exit to the right. Once you hear right, it's just like a right turn, mirror, signal to the right, position just left of that centre line. Now if I'm in the manual, I'm on the brake, I'm in the second, I'm off the clutch. I can see this is narrow, so I'm on the brake, clutch in, roll into first, observation out to the right. I can see pedestrian on the road there, so I'm just going to wait for a second. Now because of the T-junction, I would take a little glance to the left as well. You don't want to just pull out in front of a car, but my main observation is here. I'd roll out in first. Get me front wheels past that roundabout, I'd look to the right and I'd steer. Once I've steered, left mirror, left signal. Again, it's steering force, try not. People guess halfway around it and they try to do that and then they're steering is bad. So, same again, mini roundabout, second exit to the right, mirror, signal right. Position over to that centre line. Now, I have right away over this bus if he knows the rules. Ah, he's going for it. Look ahead to the right. Ahead to the right. I'll be in the first here for this one as well. I'm just rolling. Front wheels past the roundabout. Look to the right and steer. Do the steer and forced. 
Left mirror, left signal, and just undo the steering. And I'm pulling here on the left. Once again, straighten up. And that's it, that's Mini Roundout. It was probably a little bit rushed, this video, uh, because I wanted to do it before it got dark. But, um, yeah, so the, in the next video, I'm going to do the three most common mistakes I see when people um, are doing Mini Roundabouts, all right? So if you like the content, please hit like and subscribe and watch the videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, all right?